this nice one. I showed up, started picking right with me. But there's really nothing here worth taking. Bunch of old stuff. Look at these drawers real quick. making too much noise, I want to come back. Mm. Mm -hmm. What kind of stuff's in here? Stapler. Another old school stapler. Huh. Well, at least I got something to put in these boxes now. Let's see. Kind of weigh, weigh it down some. Nikita. this. Somebody might want that. Oh, that's kind of neat. Put it back in the truck for now. at home. Are you looking for anything in particular? 
Um, well, I just saw the stuff that was stoned out here. So I'll just kind of peruse around and see what was in here. Okay, I, I have, um, we're going to be moving and we have some bookshelves uh -huh. that we don't need at our new house. Okay. Are you in need of any bookshelves? Um, do you have them here? I could, I could probably get them. Um, I have them right over here at my house, actually. Yeah. I have three of them and, um, and then when we move, we're going to have a table and a, and a side table too. Okay. Yeah, I'll go over there and look at the shelves. Which house are you at? Um, where that truck is, we're on the other side. I just been taking the garbage out. Okay. So. Yeah, let me, uh, there's some tools here that I'm going to pick up okay. and I'll pull right over here in just a minute. Okay. All right, thanks. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna get these tools. And uh, there might be some in here that are worth keeping. The lady probably thought I was crazy. Talking to myself, <laughs> talking to you. Let's see what else is in here. Oh man, look at that. Bunch of reels. and go over there and probably come back. Okay. I think that's going to be it. Yeah, let me, uh, let me go over to that lady's house and see what she's got. Okay, we're going to see. I think this is her house. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is her house. Yeah, so I'm just going to turn off my camera, guys, for now. And then see what she got. All right, so I came back to that first stop, and uh, I'll show you guys here in a second what that lady ended up giving me, or what this is. Bear USA, or some kind of bed maybe. I'm gonna dig in here just a bit in a minute, just because. But yeah, anyways, I'll come back just in case. I don't wanna want to have missed something. But uh, oh, whatever's in here's all wet. See if I can salvage some of these little boxes. Some pedals. Okay, I'm gonna take this box too. It's got some pedals for like a Roland piano. But the lady was real nice. She was real sweet. She gave me a lot of good stuff. Let me show you guys. So she gave me uh, three shelves. And she gave me this coffee table and this end table. Um, all for free, solid wood. So, the, well, the tables are solid wood. So, I gave her my card. Uh, she said that she might have some more stuff. I told her to give me a call and uh, we'll go from there. I don't know what these little trinket boxes were for, but. I'm gonna get them. Someone put some time into making them. Worth a little something. It's broken. Ooh, 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 look at that. Cassettes. Some 
real cool. Let's check out that guy. That's it in here. This is probably some kind of bed, like a bed frame. I bet. I'm gonna take it. I bet you some kind of bed frame, like uh, you know, for camping or something. Oh. I'm glad I came back though. That's it guys. Let's see, I want to transfer some of this stuff over. quickly a couple stops yeah there was nothing in here nah all right bag has a toy in there oh man I hope it's the real deal because if it is it's some money this could be worth some money right here guys oh my gosh hope this is a real deal okay but I'm gonna take this whole bag I don't know what else could be in there. a card I can give you. Yes. Um, um, and, uh, let me see. Sometimes we put stuff out that I know that it's definitely um, leftover material stuff. And yeah, like, like, uh, like, see you have like some lady just right now? Yeah. She gave me all this furniture. Uh, these shelves and these, and these, all that, she gave me all that. She was, she just moved in her house and they didn't need it. So I, I said, yeah, I'll take it. So stuff like that. Uh, electronics. electronics. Yeah. You know, I have some old electronics, some old tools, 
you know, some, some stuff like metal that. Metal stuff, metal stuff. Do you buy metal uh, stuff? Um, it depends on what it is. I don't, I, I don't. No, don't buy. Like, do you take? Do I scrap metal? Yes. No, I don't scrap metal, but my friend does. Okay, because so, so if you have scrap metal, I scrap metal. I can send them over here. Well, you know what? Because I'm gonna be cleaning the shed um, in the back, and I know that there's a lot of metal and stuff, and that it used to. I know that um, my husband was a scuba diver, and he uh -huh. had a lot of weights, metal weights that for scuba diving. So it's a lot of metal, uh -huh. heavy stuff. Yeah, he'll take it. Yeah. He'll take it. And in, in fact, if if you want, before you break your back doing all the heavy work, let me know when you're ready. Call me and and uh, <laughs> okay and and and, uh, and I'll and I'll come. Maybe I'll come with him if not. But it, but he's a nice guy and uh, you can take it. and he'll just take it instead of you having to lug it all out here. He'll just come over here and I'll let him know you got a lot of heavy metal and he'll probably just come get it off for you. Excellent. Okay. We what was your name? Your name? Juan. Alana. 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 Juan. 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 Si. Si. Perfecto. Okay. Español. Okay. Hablamos okay. español. Si. Si. Claro. Claro. Muchas gracias. Usted también. Gracias. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Probably not, but... I don't see anything else in here. You know what? This little box here might be worth taking just because... Alright, well that's a future hookup for Chris, maybe. Bunch of toys, a bunch of old toys, a bunch of old toys. I'm going to take this guy to. Might as well. I mean, all it takes is for one. So, um, did I have a box already over here? There might be one of these boxes in here. Oh no. Yeah, well, I'll put it here for now. I really don't want to take this stuff right here, guys. Loose single stuff. Really not for me. Yeah. That's gonna be it. It's gonna be it. What is this thing? Oh, dang. APC Backup Plus. I don't know what it is, but the suckers have you. I tried to pick it up with one hand. I almost couldn't. Ooh. Well, that's two contacts we made tonight. Hopefully, they both call back. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
me another small box. Brand new. This is junk. But um, we'll take this stuff. Let's go through it at home. See what we find. stuff here. Definitely take that. Man, I'm loading up today, guys. Doing good, thank God. Let's see. Whatever's in there stinks, so that's going to stay in there. bag do that there I do like this so uh, super cool the Beatles Johnny Depp and by me that's that Johnny Depp one is cool enough to where someone could replace that glass usually I don't like to keep stuff like that but you can't, you can't throw away John Dip. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Someone sketched that. Okay, this is gonna go in the trash. Okay, that's trash. stuff in here we can go through. Someone's been through here already, it looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Another bag with jewelry in it. Keep these books for my friend. Hold on to that. Bike rack will keep. That's gonna be it. Wow, another little bag of joy. I mean, it's just a matter of time between something that's gonna be valuable, something, you know. Matter of time. Open the trailer. Okay. 
turn this around. So when the wind catches it, it doesn't want to fly open. I'm not going to take this one guys main reason being is that I'm running out of space as, a, as it is I'm going to take this bag looks like a junk drawer bag Of course that looks like trash. All right guys, sun's coming down. Of course you guys know the days are short. Um, just got out of work, got home, ate, changed, got the trailer, came to the storage unit, and I've got a little bit of time to go through this stuff. So really quickly, um, I'm not gonna really film a lot of the big stuff. Um, kind of show you what it was, because I really wanna go through those bags and these boxes. But you can imagine what, you know bookcases look like you know there's three of them uh that one over there actually has uh shows up the i mean drawers at the bottom you had the little little stool thingy that opened up um bench has some stains on it i'll see if i can get rid of that uh the coffee table and the end table that that lady gave me at that one house and uh man we did pretty good I'm not gonna lie guys uh it started off really slow but we ended up doing really good so let's get started off um this guy here let's see how we're gonna set you up so had this box and it had this jewelry in there now i don't think it's gold i'm pretty sure it's not gold i got a magnet here and no <laughs> so it's not gold but I'll have to see if there's any markings on it that kind of uh, let me know where this is from because it could be vintage and just because it's not gold doesn't mean that it's not worth a little bit of money so it's a nice little charm bracelet it got steamboat horse drawn carriage pelican little trolley I don't know what this is lamp post this is like some kind of theater of some sort and then uh what is this guy it's like a little charm i can't tell what it's on it some kind of shield or something but that was in there that was kind of nice uh there was this ring also i i mean i doubt it that it's, it's not it's not magnetic but i don't know many gold rings that were made that were like this but we'll take a closer look at it and of course just this box this box is kind of really junk it's not really worth anything um when you look under here sometimes stuff can be hidden and people don't know so oh uh, well nothing hidden but here's the other part of that shield it says new orleans so that might just be a charm bracelet from new orleans all this other stuff is no good all right moving on moving on i did want to show you guys that first because it's jewelry related coming back over here yeah so this box had like the pedals from roland so they're like for like a piano and uh this guy here is some kind of cool vintage measuring so we'll take a look at that see if it's worth anything might be worth a couple bucks there had been something good for the for the antique booth but that's no longer a thing so we'll we'll see what we can do uh we'll start taking stuff out as we go along um 
Don't want to go through that one yet. That's kind of a big bag. Uh, let's see. Come on over here, New Orleans. Let's kind of go through some of these boxes. What was in here? Oh yeah, so this one had the cassettes. So I didn't take a good look to see Norwegian, Swedish, October Fest hits, Blanc, Bianca, Mozart. Looks like it's a bunch of mostly. Julio Iglesias. <laughs> Let's see if it's well they're in good condition. So that's a good thing. So we got we're gonna take a look at these and see if we can get anything for them. Of course you remember all the little boxes. I don't know what these would be for exactly, but I think once we get these dried up and aired out, someone can figure out some kind of craft work to do with these that one next box oh yeah there's more stuff in here that's kind of cool so we had this here which was an old camera all right so we had this older camera I don't know if it's a valuable one or not. Nikonos 3. It's not really, really old. Oh, it's a Nikon made in Japan. Nikon Nikonos 3. So, we'll have to check that out. It could be worth some money. Here's a different zooming and focusing and such. So, we'll check that out. That could be, that could actually be worth some money. Uh, found this guy here. NX, it's some kind of ship. Some souvenir kind of thing. And he had these reels. Frank Sinatra, Strangers in the Night. I mean, I, to me, this is really cool. If it's good quality, I don't know. Strangers and Not by Frank Sinatra. You got Allegro. Oh, this looks like it might be a family thing. It says Phase Family Tapes Save. So that's family tapes. Do not destroy. So there's just a bunch of Christmas 1971. Looks like it'd be a bunch of stuff like that. Christmas 1970. Here's one that says May 1971. So this is gonna be mostly family stuff, but you never know. Then you had a bunch of the tools, little staplers. I think these are staplers. You just kind of hit it against something and the staple will come, come out there. And then you had this vintage massager, which some of these can go for okay money. Um, not a whole lot. I'm gonna keep this to the side. All right, so that's that box. Um, what can we put in there? All right, okay, so let's look at all the jewelry. This is all the jewelry I found last night. So this little peacock or turkey or whatever it is, had a bunch of little pieces of jewelry on here. And uh, I'm curious to see. Yeah, see that's sticking. That's sticking. This one's not. I'll have to see if this is gold. Oh no, it is sticking. 
It's just really lightly sticking. So, unfortunately, none of this is gold. It's all costume. But, you know, we'll take a look at it. Then this bag, this was in one of those other bags that we found at that one house. I don't know what this is. Some kind of little horseshoe thing. A little brooch. Let's just dump all this out right here. Let's see what we can come up with. So we got an earring. I got a feeling this is gold. Yeah, this is gold. I can see the marking right there. This is 14 karat gold. So we got 14 karat gold earring. Let's see, what about this one? This one's not. This one's not. Oh, look at that. I've sold stuff like this before. So this is silver right here. I can already tell you. These little guys right here. They're like little Jamaican dudes or something like that. And uh, they've got like little onyx or some kind of inlay in there. And these are definitely 925 silver. So you got that one. What else is this? Wow, oh, that's definitely sticking to here. That's definitely not silver. Put that here. This is not sticking. This one looks like it's silver. Canco? No, oh, maybe not. Let's see, what about this one? See, this one's not sticking. This could be silver. I'm not seeing any markings on it yet. Let's see. I don't know what is sticking, so. And, then, and of course, I'll have Iris look at all this stuff again for me, because. This is not silver. And this one right here, though, where was that? It was like a little Mickey Mouse or something. What about these? Ooh, yeah, definitely not. This guy here. A little Disney charm bracelet. Oh, no. Definitely not. Okay, this one's interesting. Oh, made in China. Uh, let's see. Any markings on here? That scared me. No, not seeing any markings off the top. But like I said, I'll have Iris look through these again. Just to make sure that I didn't miss something. This is a cute, a cute little frog. I'm about to take a look at this one because it's not. No, I think it's like a little mood necklace. Um, here's the other earring. Although this is the necklace right here. So there's got to be an earring in here that matches that somewhere. Hopefully, they didn't lose it. Is this guy? See, I saw this one. It's like a little Saints. Yeah, it's sticking. Yeah. yeah if it's sticking like this. With like this guy. This one's not silver, but it's cute. It says, faith, love, hope, over and over again. That's a cute necklace. Might, might do a little giveaway with that one. That's a cute necklace. Even if it's silver, it'd be okay. I'd still give it away. It's, it's got a brand on it. We'll have to take a look at it. That's a cute necklace. Anything else in here? Nope, not that. Nope. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, look. That went over here somewhere. Yeah. And this guy. That one's got markings on it. It's probably silver. So I'll take that one out. Alright, so I'll leave that there. So, so far we got 14 karat gold with this guy got a couple little silver pieces here 
Uh, I didn't see the other earring. No, it's not in here. So we'll deal with that later. But fortune carat gold, that's gonna go to my scrap pile. And uh, this might go to the silver scrap pile because I don't have the matching earring. All right, moving right along over here, you had this guy, which is crazy heavy for being this small. Wow, that's heavy. So this is a uh, apcc.com backups. I have no idea what this is. If it's just like a surge protector of some kind. But the sucker's real heavy. Mm, I'm gonna put this guy right here. So get it out of this box. Uh, you had a bunch of pins, I think. Uh, matte pencils. I'll find someone to give those to. You had this, a real player, Sony solid state, and you had a bunch of tools down here. Um, the reason I grabbed these is that there was actually some craftsman tools in here. So I'll be able to, you know, separate the good stuff and just get rid of the junk and go from there. All right, moving on to the next box. So I kind of went through some of these bags, guys, when I got home so I can get rid of the obvious trash. I didn't go through it very thoroughly, but like the big pieces of trash and the big pieces of stuff that were no good, I went ahead and got rid of. So that's why you'll see some of the stuff over here. I don't remember what this was at all. Okay, it's like a crafting kit. And over here, you had a bunch of pins. Um, I'll take all these pins to work because we're always looking for pins at work <laughs> so that'll go with me to work uh one thing i did find oh yeah so one thing that was in that white bag i don't know if you remember that white bag i'll put a snippet here but uh i had mentioned that it was definitely a junk drawer bag there was a i don't know if this is a keychain or what it is exactly but it's it's a silver from tiffany and company so you got this Tiffany Company, whatever this is. That's what I'm wondering if this goes with it somehow. It looks the same shape. Um, see, I don't know what it is. So you got Tiffany Company, whatever that is, silver, very heavy piece of whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. All right. What I had gotten really excited about, guys, was this right here. I was thinking and hoping this is one of those Gundam uh, Japanese toys but it looks like it's just a transformer um, still not a bad find I think these might sell for around 20 to 30 bucks depending on the condition I'll have to I'll have to do more research I did a really really quick Google search on it but I was happy to find this guy here for sure um, and what else could possibly be in that other bag um, this was more of the same oh yeah here's here's the actual bag here's the actual bag that was in there um, like i said it had a bunch of pins guys um i haven't finished going through this thing i mean and right off the top i mean you've got some headphones in here these are the apple headphones you've got a charger um you've got some phone cases you had a bunch of these like little magnets you had some uh, little sticky things for, you know, for furniture. So I didn't really see anything else that's like just wow factor in here. Um, just a bunch of pins and stuff like that. And then, like I said, that one, that one piece of uh, Tiffany and company thing that I, that I showed y'all earlier. So that was that. Oh yeah, there was also this phone. Oh wow, no. Look at that, there's a tablet. There was a phone in there, but I didn't see the tablet. So you got the Samsung tab tablet. Kind of sticky icky. Um, I did see a phone in here, but it was an old, old phone. Uh, some clothes, some new looking bras, some books down in here. Uh, nothing crazy fabulous and here oh yeah see and then i got new razors 
And here there was this kind of stuff. So you had this guy here. It says popcorn. It's like a, it looked, I think this is vintage. It's like a popcorn bowl. And you got pretzels. Okay, so pretzels, popcorn. You had some, you know what, let's do this. I'm gonna put the camera down and we're gonna look at this together. All right, so here we go. Uh, this one had like some dishware stuff. It says made in Italy. So that's kind of neat. Here's the little bowls that we just saw earlier. This is gonna be right up ours the alley. We have some little glassware. Some like hobnail. There's a candle holder. So this is doesn't look to be vintage or antique. This is just like like it is old. So may not be anything of great value. Probably just donate all this stuff right here because it doesn't look like it's much of anything good. Um, I will take a close gander at it. Just be sure. But yeah, see. Can light holders. All this stuff right here will be donated. The only thing I'll keep out of that would probably be this. All right, moving right along, guys, as this plane up top is being all loud. I always do that, guys. I always look through the books because, man, you never know. This is just what material. Yeah, I did see these, these, these bras are brand new. 36D, Kubi Intimate. I don't know if that's a good brand or cheap brand or what. Okay, don't see nothing in there. All right, moving right along. Uh, let me look at some stuff over here real quick. I'm gonna put this down. Maybe give me a place to sit and go through the rest of this. So over here you had this guy, which is really cool, I think. It was the the bill to a blue marlin caught in 1977 before I was even born. From 10.30 a.m. to 12 noon, 228 pounds, 10 feet, 10 inches. In Rancho Buena Vista, Sea of Cortez, Baja, California. So there was some stuff in here, pictures of the whole thing. Um, I don't know, maybe the eye, I'm thinking, might have gone there. But this is the old beak, I guess you could call it. Really cool looking. You had this bike rack right here. I think that's what that is. And you had this other stuff in here. Um, silver? No. Well, it's got some markings in it. I'll have to take a closer look at that guy there. Because, I mean, you just never know. Little antique looking little baskets or something. Well, there's more little charms in there. Oh, look at that. So you got this guy here. Looks like it has jade on it. I don't know if they look at that one. Here's that earring. This earring matched one that was over there, but it wasn't silver or gold. Another big old chunker thing right there. Pretty little brooch. It's a butterfly. Don't see any markings on it. Some buttons, what do they say? Legit from Apple. They could be with a little bit of money because they're Apple. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna dump this out in here. I can get a better look at this stuff. We're fidgeting around with these things. I'll give it to you in a minute. Taiwan. Nothing. Not another little brooch of sorts, I guess. Snoopy earrings. These earrings. They want silver, I don't believe. No, they're catching on. Um, 
not silver. Oh look, this is what went on that one ring. There was a big old clunker over there. So is this, that's not gold. That's definitely not gold. This could be gold. A lot, they'll, they'll set jade and gold like this. Ah. Uh, well, the bezel's catching on, but not this charm. And not any of this either. It looks like there could be markings on there. I'll have to take a close look. Yeah, it looks like there's some markings on there. I'll take a close look when I get home. Here's that one clunker. Um, some school IDs or something. Some more earrings. There's like a bunch of just little junk earrings, but they're cool because they're old, you know what I mean? And we already found one gold earring, so we need to find, you know, a little bit more. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to go through some of this stuff real quick. Um, and just an unfortunate thing, man, is that it's just getting dark on me. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to really film everything. But you have, like, some hand puppets. Let me get this bag open. You got some toy cars in there. This Nickelodeon game. Nothing too fabulous in here. Looking over here. This bag had a bunch of books. A bunch of books. Maybe some hats and some shoes. And I think the better bag was this bag right here. Yeah, see? So, right away. Got a little wind-up duck. It's not really working, but still a cool little wind-up duck there. We'll put him in here. All right, so we have some like Lego pieces there. White wings, pre-cut little airplanes. It looks like it's vintage. Little lamp, some kind of place set. 1998 Star Wars. Got this wooden truck. It's kind of cool. A police car. Fart alarm. <laughs> no farting. Oh, that's pretty funny. The kids will get a kick out of that one. I don't know what this doll is. Look this old doll. Scary little doll. A little lucky four leaf clover. We got a golf field in here. Oh, look at that. Ole. Got the tag on it. That's that's good. That's pretty good find right there. People love their Tom's train. People love the golf field stuff for sure. Okay guys. Look at this. Hot Wheels plane, man. I hope the rest of it's in here because that'd be a really good find. Alright, so what I need to do is start going through this on my own and try to take stuff out real quick. The sun's going way down. Let's see if I can beat the sun real quick. Alright guys, we're going to take a look at the stuff that we found um, in a little bit better daylight now that it's sun's out. It's been actually about a week since I've been over here. So I actually have a night's picking over here from last night. But uh, I want to show you some of this stuff real quick uh, out here in the daylight. So... That one thing that I thought was a bed, uh, it's actually a table. It's gotta be vintage. 
is it's made in the USA, which a lot of things nowadays aren't. It says buyer. It's like a slat table that just folds and stows away. Um, I mean, that's pretty neat, guys. I've never seen anything like that before. But maybe for camping and stuff like that. I think I found this one. Uh, so you got the shelves. And I can't... Guys, I can't figure out if that's Johnny Depp or if that's John Mayer. I'm starting to think that it's John Mayer now. <laughs> what do y'all think? Yeah, I think it's John Mayer. And of course you had the real cool and, and it's they're printed the printed pieces to make made look to, like it's a sketch and then of course you got the Beatles, so that's really cool. Uh guys, man, there was just a lot. So there was like a bunch of these little toys. Uh, this one here had some just you know some vintage stuff you know a hand puppet of woody woodpecker which is pretty cool he had blues clues i mean i guess this is blues clues is vintage now um what else did we have in here the other night I think the toys are let me see I'm a mess today guys I just I'm not organized this morning but um there was a bunch of toys you can see um little Hot Wheels Boy Scout stuff um bunch of toy cars uh a bunch of like I want to say there was some kind of um They were like Happy Meal toys, but they were open. And basically they were like little, let me show you. They were like these kind. Where were they at? Oh, it's in here. There's a bunch of this stuff right here. See these right here? They're kind of like, like classic toy keychain things like this. So there's a bunch of this stuff. You had Winnie the Pooh, you had the Seven Dwarves, you had Mickey Minnie. Here's roof, kangaroo, or whatever. A um, bunch of little animals like this. A bunch of little Disney stuff like that. So Donald Duck. So that's what these things are mostly full of. So that's going to go to my garage sale. I'm not going to bother trying to label all this stuff or try to sell it online. It's too much. So I'll take it to the garage sale. Maybe get 50 cents each, what have you. Uh, of course, you saw that bike rack you remember the bike rack the table here with the end table and um that was that was most of it guys that was most of it i think that was it um what i mean i wanted to show you more of the toys but let me see if i can get a little bit more situated here all right so you see there were these here this is Never been opened, but I mean, just the glue comes loose. But it's an old uh, Boy Scouts like Trollite storage case, a boat, bandana says Liberty. Well, toy binoculars, the greatest show on earth. You had this Nickelodeon game there. And you see, it was just a bunch of this stuff here. Old hat, see bunch of these guys little happy meal toys um copter there was some older hot wheels like this guy here which is a nice truck that's actually a nice hot wheel truck 1977 got the fat wheels on them um that's something i might keep for me to be honest with you i'll go through here and uh look through these again and i keep what i want and uh get rid of what i don't so this and that box down there was full of this stuff. This is a little wind-up toy, um, but it doesn't it doesn't work. So you go wind it up and it doesn't do anything. It's just, it's, it's, something's broken on it, but still cool. 
It's not old, made in China. So it's a fake old toy. Yeah, so that does it for me, guys. Um, I hope it's kind of a weird video. I apologize for the kind of in and out. It's just hard to do these videos and get the walkthrough the same day when I come back after work because I just have very little time and I have to wait, al wait almost a week before I can get to it on my next day's off. So I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys will hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff and show some support. Show some support to your uh, to your to your buddy here, the Texan Picker, and uh, you know really helps me out when you hit like and you leave a comment and all that good stuff. So if you could do so, I'd really appreciate it. And with that, we'll close it out. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for just your tremendous blessings. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to get out there and find this stuff, uh, to put me in the right places in the right times, uh, to save stuff from going to the landfill, finding people that will get blessed with the things that we find, and uh, and just putting people on my path, Father, that can bless me with things that I can bless other people with. Father, I just want to ask you that you would continue to bless our families, that you would continue to bless our marriages, bless us with good health, continue to watch over our children, Father, and uh, just be a guiding light and just wrap your... Just, just wrap our children with your love, with your, with, with your protection, Lord. And uh, as they go through their days, Father, some of us coming up soon. I just ask, Lord, that you just continue to bless us, watch over us. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please hit like and all that good stuff. Until next time, peace, love you, and God bless. See ya.